New York-based carrier JetBlue usually gets some pretty good press. However, the airline got the wrong end of the stick recently with some rare negative publicity, ranking last in an operational performance survey of nine major U.S. airlines last year. The Wall Street Journal ranked the nine airlines across seven criteria in their now annual airline scorecard. Delta Airlines came first, but ingloriously bringing up the rear and even lagging after ultra-low-cost carriers like Spirit Airlines and Frontier Airlines was JetBlue. Last year, American Airlines came last for the second year in a row. However, in this latest report, American did better, tying for sixth with Frontier Airlines. Meanwhile, JetBlue came seventh in the previous report. The survey ranks carriers according to a long list of factors, including their on-time arrival rates, cancelled flights, extreme delays, two-hour plus apron delays, mishandled baggage, involuntary bumping, and complaints. The WSJ acknowledged it wasn't an ordinary year of flying for the US carriers. In addition to the ongoing impact of COVID-19, Crew shortages, an unusually high number of weather events, and some IT wipeouts adversely affected most airlines. As its ninth placing suggests, JetBlue wasn't unaffected last year. However, JetBlue dodged much of the bad publicity that so often hurt bigger airlines like Southwest, American, and United. JetBlue came last on the extreme delays and two-hour apron delays criteria. The Wall Street Journal cites mass flight data which shows that 14.3% of JetBlue's flights were delayed 45 minutes or longer in 2021. Data concerning the two-hour apron delays came from the Department of Transportation. JetBlue came second last among the nine airlines regarding the number of passenger complaints and on-time arrivals. JetBlue's on-time arrival rate was 68.9% last year. Only Allegiant Airlines fared worse. JetBlue ranked 7th in the matter of mishandled luggage, besting Alaska Airlines 8th spot and American Airlines in 9th spot. The best ranking JetBlue could muster was 4th place for the number of cancelled flights and rate of involuntary bumping in 2021. JetBlue cancelled just 1.7% of its flights last year. We do everything we can to avoid cancelling flights, a spokesperson told WSJ. The involuntary bumping category is a bit of a red herring. The number of passengers involuntarily bumped across all U.S. carriers is already very, very low. The vast majority of bumped passengers are categorized as voluntary, agreeing to a bump, usually for a form of compensation. Delta told the WSJ they didn't bump a single passenger involuntarily during the 12 months that ended in September 2021. However, their rate of voluntary bumping is high compared to other U.S. carriers. Reacting to their result, JetBlue pointed out that they were badly impacted by the number of employees calling in sick toward the end of last year. The airline is now on a hiring spree to help ensure against that happening again in the future. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.